Boğaziçi University has long been recognized as one of Turkey's most prestigious institutions, but it's now become the site of a month-long protest. What started off as the disapproval of the university rector's appointment has morphed into something else. The Turkish government says that outside forces have hijacked the student protests to create turmoil. Turkey's interior minister says that dozens of protesters who were arrested weren't even students of the university. Ankara has also criticized a recent statement from the U.S. State Department regarding the protests. A Turkish government official warned that Washington's interference could fuel anti-American sentiment across the country. To discuss this further from Istanbul, I'm joined by Vepi Baysan. He is a political analyst and an assistant professor at Ibn Haldun University. And from Ankara, Yusuf Alabarda. He is a security analyst. Gentlemen, welcome to Straight Talk. It's good to have you on the program. Before we start discussing the latest, let's listen to what Turkey's communication director, Fahrettin Altun, had to say about the ongoing protests at Boğaziçi University. It has come to my attention that certain people are misinformed about the situation involving Boğaziçi University. Let's stop pretending that this is about freedom of expression and the right to peaceful protests. The president appointed a rector as part of his constitutional mandate. Most recently, a small and radicalized group surrounded the rector building, blocked its exits, and attempt to invade the building. The police were consequently asked to step in and several people were detained for breaking the law. The criminal offenses include depriving an individual of their physical freedom and damaging public property. There is no country on the planet where armed thugs get to threaten public officials and attempt to detain them because they don't approve of a lawful appointment. So, Vepi, could you expand on Mr. Altun's message, what he said and what he actually warned of? Well, that's uh, um, <clears throat> an interesting situation we are going through, especially so far as the higher education concerned uh, in Turkey. The major question here, uh, and, and I think it should be a, a topic of discussion in Turkey, a public debate perhaps, at least among the academics, is that who would appoint or choose or elect a president of a university? In general, it was like uh, the, the election process would go on, and then three candidates would be sent to the then president, whoever is the president, then this president would choose any of the three. So say someone got 1,000 votes, someone got 500, someone got two votes. The president had such a power to elect anyone they wanted. And then this changed. That's why. Um, Communications director Farid Al Altun, Mr. Farid Al Altun, saying that actually it was a lawful appointment. Yes, the law changed, and this time they said we don't go through this. We are living in a new era, and a president should be appointed. So it is a curious question here: is that how these appointments will uh, uh, take place? So as uh, as of the er a very early uh, date of uh, January 21. Uh, 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 Mr. Bulu was uh, appointed there, and then an immediate uh, reaction started. And that reaction, uh, in the words of our communication director, is went out of hand and unaccept unacceptable scenes uh, emerging. But also, if you ask the students, but also here we should mention that academics also joined in the, uh, the protest or demonstration, saying that we don't accept an outside uh, appointment. But I think, as I said, it's a very, we are going through an interesting time, probably a transitional moment that a, a universities will be kind of governed by the persons elected among them, mm -hmm. or actually they will be, uh, in order to be in the probably world class, as Boazichi universities currently is, because according to the higher education uh, uh, rankings, this is one of the top universities because uh, it is between the 600 to 800, but the impact factor is between the 300, 400 universities in the world. So uh, naturally, Boazici uh, academics and students wants to pre uh, preserve that and also rejecting or, or, or opposing any outside uh, appointment. But having said that, Mr. Bulu uh, is from his master's and PhD is from Boazici, and he's not a total stranger to the uh, system. But I think 
overall, the major question here, who appoints the president to these um, universities? Okay, so uh, Yusuf, what's your take on the uh, latest developments? Turkish officials repeatedly say that some people are misinformed about the incidents and the situation in Boğaziçi, through which means you think they are misinformed? Uh, some of them has been misinformed and some of them knows what's happening very well on the streets of the Istanbul. For, so for this reason, I do not think that this is the problem about the president of the University of Boğaziçi, which has been appointed by the president. The problem is that they are trying to find an excuse in order to create a turmoil, because we know very well in the Turkey that uh, creating a turmoil was on the agenda of uh, some countries. Uh, as we well, uh, very well know that uh, president of the United States before being elected said that we will get down Mr. Erdogan with our elements inside Turkey. So these are the clear statements that we know, and the Turkish security forces, including the intelligence, were hoping and waiting such kind of vandalism and turmoil on the streets of Istanbul. So such kind of appointments will be used in the future also for creating turmoil and vandalism on the streets of Istanbul. So what is the important side for the misinformation that we can tell to the public that the president has been appointed, as Mr. Vehbi said, you know, in the uh, legal frame of the president, and the president is qualified for being appointed as the president. Already, the president of the Boğaziçi University, which has been appointed by the president, was the rector of another university before those times. So, for this reason, the disinformation uh, should be uh, cleaned uh, from the minds of the uh, people who is living abroad Turkey. So, Vefi, what do you make of the U.S. State Department's statement uh, criticizing Turkey on these protests? Well, um, that's probably a part, part of the uh, game. Internationally, uh, obviously, certain scenes, certain pictures, certain... Uh, I don't know, like saying uh, police brutality and the children were just peacefully demonstrating. These are the vocabulary and the scenes. So much uh, had been circulated around uh, the world, as well as in the U.S., a couple of, uh, you know, good uh, 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 newspapers published articles about it. So it seems that the U.S. Department felt uh, to call for, uh, let's say, calm and, you know, uh, sending outside warnings, but actually... U.S., so far as the regional policy is uh, uh, concerned, is responsible the death of over one million people in Iraq. And also, we know their policy is just outside uh, our borders, too. But nevertheless, as, as far as these um, uh, uh, video footages uh, circulate the world and, and showing that, uh, I think, according to Ministry of Interior uh, 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 statistics, over 500 students are arrested, but later released because to, to know who these people are, who's coming here and what's happening, if there is a real provocation or, or you name it. So these kind of things are, are, are in, in, in some circles uh, twisted. And it seems some governments, now it started with the U.S., probably, <clears throat> if not already done, uh, EU may uh, send some uh, messages as well. Yes. But this is not the bottom of the uh, uh, problem here. What we're talking about is uh, a prestigious university. Also, what we realize that there are some circles that they're, they're trying to take it out of this context yes. and turn it into more of street violence, etc. So I think uh, we should we should receive these kind of messages from the U.S. especially uh, with, with caution. OK, so uh, Yusuf, could this latest spat between the two country officials add fuel to the already strange relations between the U.S. and Turkey, and how will this play out moving forward? Yeah, we can see that such kind of explanations which is coming from United States is uh, adding uh, fuel, as you said, uh, to the anti-American sentiments which has been created inside Turkey. So for this reason, Americans should understand that such kind of explanations is not useful in order to create good relations with Turkey. They are just adding fuel to the anti-American sentiments inside Turkey. We know we are living in globalization 3.0, which means that what is happening in anywhere inside the world is being very well known by everybody inside Turkey or inside any 
around the corner of the world. So we know very well what has happened during the Ferguson events, what has happened during the Black Lives Matter protests, yes. and what has happened inside the Congress. I don't want to make a whataboutism, but we should understand that the rule of law is a very important cornerstone for the United States, but also at the same time for the Turkey. All right, gentlemen, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining us on Straight Talk.